So we all saw the new Google Pixel 2 has a new launcher with some amazing looking features packed inside. In this video I'll show you guys how you can get the same Pixel launcher on any Android device coming up. So the very first and the easiest method to get the Pixel Launcher on your device is to download the APK file which is ported from Pixel 2 and works on almost every Android device. The launcher has almost all the features of original Pixel 2 such as the bounce back effect in app drawer or the search bar embedded in the dock now. You can download the ported live wallpaper application which was exclusively made for Pixel 2 devices thanks to XDA developers and use it in your setup. Now not all the live wallpapers are working on all devices and you might get the error sometimes but that could be fixed in future updates. In the widgets you will only have the default app widgets and there's nothing fancy here. And in settings you get the option to select at a glance option similar to Pixel 2 and that's just it. The launcher is pretty cool and easy to use but the functionality is pretty much limited and you can't use any icon packs as it does not support any third party icon packs. Next up we can get the similar look using the Nova Launcher Prime and make sure you have the beta version installed. Now when you first launch the Nova Launcher you will see this boring looking desktop but with some tweaks we are going to make it look exactly like the new Pixel Launcher. So you just follow along. Now first thing first, delete the existing desktop you have and long press the home screen and select settings. Now go to desktop setting and make some changes there. Now change the desktop grid to 5 x 4 and go to icon layout and disable the labels on the desktop. Keep the width and height padding to none and disable the persistent search bar if it is active. Select the page indicator to none and that's it from this menu. Now in the app drawer menu change the grid size to 5 x 5 and accent color to teal and that's it from this menu for now. We will be making changes as per the requirement later on. Next up in the dock menu click on the dock background and change the transparency to 100%. After doing that, change the width and height paddings to medium. Now go back to home screen and remove all the app icons on your home screen and select the search widget and bring it to the dock and edit it as shown in the video. Now if you don't find the search bar, long press on the home screen and go to widgets and in no widgets you will find the search bar. Next thing is to make changes into the folders. Go to folder menu and select folder preview to grid and folder background to pixel launcher and now you can see the folder style is changed. Now we need to enable the pixel style app door menu and for that once again go to app door settings and enable the swipe to open option and disable the card background option. Now you can see we are getting closer to getting a pixel 2 look on your android device. Now download the Oreo icon pack from play store and change the icon pack to get the new Oreo look. Also enable the adaptive icon features and select the style you would prefer for your device. Change the pop up menu to block to get the subtle change in your pop up menu and that's it. Now last thing you need to change is the notification batch. Select the dots option as in the new android audio and the size of the dot to small and that's it. Now you have all the features available in the new pixel launcher in your android device using the nova launcher. Now you just need to download the live wallpaper apk and the widget placed at the top of the screen which I have linked in the description down below. Just select the live wallpaper that you wish to add as your background. Also to get the google now on right swipe, download the google now companion app. To get the widget on the screen as in the Pixel 2 download the another widget application and select the widget from the widget menu, resize it and that's it. Nova Launcher gives tons of new features and flexibility over the ported app and you have the complete control over the launcher. So go ahead and unleash your creative side. So that's it for today guys and if you like the video give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to my channel. It would mean world to me. Now with that being said it's your friend Anil from Tech Police and I'm signing out.